hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a and b if we have a plus b is equals to 8 and a b is equals to 48 and we solve this problem for all the values of a and b so here first we call this is the over equation number one and this is over equation number two and here first we need to focus on equation number one so that uh, our equation number one is implies that uh, so here we need uh, to move this a to the right hand side and we get the value of b is equals to 8 minus a and we call this is our equation number 3. So now we use this equation number uh, so this value of b into equation number 2 uh, so that equation number 2 is implies that this is a b the value of a is as it is and the value of b is 8 minus a we substitute this value of 8 here and it will becomes 8 minus a is equals to 48 so uh, here you see that we convert our given equation into the single variable term that is a and here we first find the values of a and after that we substitute these values of a in equation number 3 and we easily get the values of b so now here we for, uh, need to multiply a on both of these values and when we multiply a with 8 it will becomes 8a and when we multiply a with a we get a square is equals to 48 so further uh, we need to move uh, both of these two values from left hand side to the right hand side and it will be written as when you move these two values from right hand side it will become this minus a square becomes plus a square this plus 8a becomes minus 8a and this is plus 48 is equals to 0 and in the next step you see here this is the quadratic equation and we have there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method the second one is completing square and the third one is by applying the quadratic formula so here we use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 8 and c is equals to 48 and we state the quadratic formula as a is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our uh, quadratic formula and now we substitute all the values of a, b and c in this formula. So when we substitute all these values here it will become minus times of b the value of b is minus 8 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 8 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 48 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 and further in the next step we need more simplifications and we get this is minus times of minus becomes plus 8 and plus minus square root of minus 8 square and minus 8 square becomes 64 and minus 4 times of 48 is equals to 192 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 becomes 2 so here we need to first subtract these two values and when we subtract these two values we will get here minus 128 and it is divided by 2 so here uh, we need to uh, separate this square root on both of these values and it will be written as a is equals to 8 plus minus this is square root of 128 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2 so here we break this 128 as this is 8 plus minus square root of this is 64 we write it as 6 this is 128 we write it as 64 times of 2 and we know that when negative sign appears inside the square root sign it will becomes iota and it is divided by 2 so further we have uh, we need to break uh, this fraction and it will becomes 8 divided by 2 plus minus here we know that square root of 64 becomes 8 times of square root of 2 into iota and it is divided by 2 so from here we easily get the values of ar so this is 2 times 4 becomes 8 we get 4 plus minus this is also 2 times 4 becomes 8 we get 4 times of square root of 2 into iota so these are the 
uh, first two complex values of a and now here in the next steps we uh, substitute uh, these two values of a uh, into the equation number three and we easily get the values of b so here first we write the positive value of a here it is 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 iota and here we write the negative value it is a is equals to 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 iota so these are the two values of a and our equation number 3 is implies that the equation number 3 is b is equals to 8 minus a and here uh, we substitute above uh, two values of uh, a in this equation and we get the corresponding values of b so when we put this value of a here it will becomes b is equals to 8 minus a the value of a in this case is 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota and now here we need to multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will become 8 minus 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota. So we have b is equals to 8 minus 4 becomes 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota. So this is the value of b. And uh, this is the value of b corresponding to the value of a is this one. So similarly we now we substitute this value of a here and we get the corresponding value of b so we get b is equals to 8 minus a the value of a in this case is 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota and here we need to multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will become 8 minus 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota and here we get the value of b is equals to 8 minus 4 becomes 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota. So this is the value of b uh, which we get here from corresponding value of a is this one. So finally uh, we have there are two solutions of the given equation and now we write the solution set. So the first solution uh, is uh, the value of a is 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 iota and the corresponding value of b is 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota. So this is the first solution and the second solution is 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota and the corresponding value of b is 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota. So these are the two solutions of the given equation uh, which we get here and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.